Welcome back to Cooking with Tammy Live. I'm Tammy and today I'm gonna to show you how to make my absolutely delicious salmon croquettes, also known as salmon patties. Yes. So without further ado, let's jump right in and get this recipe started. Right here we have some bell peppers. I have red and green, as well as minced garlic and some diced onions. When it came to the bell pepper, I didn't use the whole bell pepper. What I did do was, as you can see, there's like little demarcations, like little segments. I took literally like one and a half and that's what I'm using. Two cans of salmon, yes, however you can use fresh salmon if you want. Just ask the person at the seafood spot to take the skin off the salmon. However, I'm using canned salmon. I also have some mayo, eggs, breadcrumbs, uh, paprika, as well as onion powder, black pepper, salt, and Worcestershire sauce, as well as some oil. First things first, we are gonna remove the bones from the salmon. Yes, we are. I'm going to put my gloves on first. And what we're going to do is we're going to take the salmon. How many of you love salmon? Canned salmon, fresh salmon, it doesn't matter to me. I like it both. It's so delicious. Alrighty, there's like some soft bones in there. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to take my finger and remove it. Place it right here. Also, when it comes to the skin, it literally, literally, just slides right off. You just have to take your finger and just literally rub it against the skin and it will come right off. Okay. So we're searching for soft bones. Some people, they leave the bones in because like I said, it's soft bones. So they just literally just break it all up, mash it all up. And to most people, you don't taste it. But I am gonna take the extra step Take that extra mile and take the bones out. How many of you remember when your grandmother would make salmon croquettes or salmon patties? Mm-hmm. I certainly do. I remember. All right. Just be patient, it takes a little while, it doesn't take long. All right, even if there's like a bone or two, it's not gonna apprehend, it's not gonna like literally mess the recipe up. It's not gonna cause any problems. Okay, just slide it right off and it literally just comes off. Just like that. I ended up making, or should I say, I'm gonna make salmon croquettes because, true story. <laughs> I ended up ordering from Uber Eats, McDonald's, right? Yes, I know, I know. And it's literally for five of us. And the tab came to 86 bucks. <laughs> because of course, you gotta pay for the Uber delivery, which is not much, but I noticed when you order through like third parties, the fast food chain, they charge more because, you know, whatever, for whatever reason. So at checkout, it was like literally 80 something bucks. And I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. I'm about to lose a piece of meat. Am I, am I crazy? No, <laughs> only the bones. All right. And the crazy thing is we waited for like a good hour and unfortunately our order was canceled. How you like that? So everybody's starving. Everybody's anticipating, waiting for this food. Bad enough we're overpaying. Mm-hmm. And they have the nerve to cancel our order. So guess what? Like grandma always say, it's always important because you never know when certain things is going to go down. Always make sure you have some canned goods and you have certain staples in the cabinetry, like flour, eggs, rice, for everybody's different. But for her, she would always tell us, make sure you have eggs, flour, rice, bread, and what else? Oh, and water in store. Like literally, she would have buckets of water just storing, like just in case there's an accident, not an accident, but more so some type of emergency. And she was ready, like she's ready for like any situation, put it that way. So yeah, I looked in my cabinet, the salmon was there, 
And I'm like, you know what? We haven't had it in a while anyway. And besides, I don't have a salmon recipe, or should I say not a salmon recipe, I'm sorry, a salmon croquette or a salmon patty recipe on my channel. So I'm like, now would be the perfect time. Not only is everybody starving, but now would be the perfect time to put that recipe out. I was yes, sorry, Bob. Gotta be smart. Grandmas are the best. They know how to survive in any situation and make the best out of any situation. I'm telling you. All right, what we're gonna do is we are gonna turn our stovetop on and we are gonna saute our veggies. We're gonna saute our red and green bell peppers as well as the onions. And we're not gonna add too much oil, just enough to saute. Put the lemon right here. I'm gonna wait for the oil to get hot and then I'm gonna add it, toss it around just a bit, get it all nice and softened. And once we're done, we're gonna set it to the side for about maybe two, three minutes for the veggies to cool off because you don't wanna add veggies to your, hot veggies is what I should say, to your mix because you're gonna be adding eggs and so on and so forth. And you don't wanna cook your eggs while it's in here and your salmon patties are still not cooked. By the way, how is everybody doing? I hope everybody is good. Yep, so that was a crazy story and a true story. Talk about paying too much for food in the first place. I sh that's what I get because I should have went in the kitchen and made something to eat rather than trying to order McDonald's in the first place. <laughs> so that's a good lesson taught. Trying to overcharge me talking about 80 something dollars. Are you kidding me? Add the garlic, minced garlic. You want to cook your veggies first to allow it to get soft because you don't want to put your veggies, uncooked veggies, into the mixture. And then once you start to fry the patties, they're going to be uncooked and it's going to be a little bit hard and so on and so forth. So it's better to saute them and get them nice and soft. Now that our veggies are done, we're going to move on to adding our ingredients to our salmon. And the good thing about this is we don't have to over season. Just a little bit of salt, not much. <laughs> as well as a little bit of ground black pepper, just a little bit. A little onion powder. Mm -hmm. A little smoked paprika. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And I am gonna add a little Worcestershire sauce. Step the flavors up just a bit. Mm-hmm, couple drip drops. And I am gonna beat my egg. And we're gonna add it to the mixture. As well as our mayo. If you don't wanna do the mayo, you can add two eggs. It's totally up to you. You can add two eggs, or depending on the amount of cans that you're using, that's how many eggs you add if you wanna exclude the mayo. But I'm doing a half and half. Half mayo, half, one egg, half mayo. <laughs> half and half, you get it. <laughs> and I'm gonna take the bell peppers that cool down, and I'm gonna add it to the mixture. I'm just going to mix everything together, get it well incorporated. It smells so delicious and it looks so pretty. I'm also going to add some breadcrumbs. Now when it comes to the breadcrumbs, we're just going to add accordingly, not too much at first. To adding the breadcrumbs, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get a mixture that we could like pretty much mold together, just like making a burger. No different. And you want it to be able to literally hold and stay together. So you don't want to add too much. You want to kind of play around with it just a bit. Add accordingly. And once you're able to mold it together, then you're in business. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, we need a little bit more breadcrumbs. Still a little wet. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And also, you guys can play around with the breadcrumbs. If you have like Parmesan breadcrumbs in the refrigerator or even Italian breadcrumbs, feel free to add it. It's just going to take the flavors up even more. Yeah, from the feel of this, this is it right here. The texture is perfect. This is what we need. And by any chance, if your mixture feels kind of loose, take a couple pieces. If you're not able to mold it together and, and literally have it stay together, then of course, you're going to add a little bit more breadcrumbs just like just like I did, a little bit at a time until you get the patties to hold and stick together. Let's see if, let's see what we're working with. Let's see if it works. <laughs> oh, but first I'm gonna add a little breadcrumbs to the plate, just a little bit, because as I mold the salmon patties, I wanna be able to like literally just place it on the plate without having to stick to the plate. Let's do this. Alrighty, we're gonna mold it, like I said, just like a meatball. Same concept, and as you can see, it's literally holding together. This is it right here. Perfect, 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 perfect. Tuck the sides in, mm-hmm. Give it a nice shape. <laughs> Place it right here. And we are gonna continue molding until we have all of our, our salmon patties molded into shape. Just out of curiosity, how many of you guys used to eat salmon patties for breakfast or lunch or even dinner? Mm -hmm. I know some people eat it like literally for dinner. Some people ate it for breakfast. I guess it depends on where you grew up. Also, grandmas didn't play that. Like, they made whatever at whatever time according to what they had. Yep. You were gonna eat, you were not gonna be hungry. Even if it meant eating eggs for dinner. Eggs with something, right? <laughs> Eggs with rice, fried rice with eggs, something. <laughs> and of course, when you add the veggies to the mixture, it not only gives it a nice taste and a nice color contrast and everything, but it also stretches the salmon. Mm -hmm. Also to this, you can add a potato that would definitely stretch it out depending on how many people you're feeding, All right? It is time to fry these salmon cakes up, or should I say salmon patties, salmon croquettes. It's all the same thing. They all taste absolutely delicious. We're not gonna add too much oil, just enough. Not too much. Mm-hmm. That is perfect. All righty. What I am gonna do is Gonna add just a little bit of breadcrumbs, not too much. Just coat it lightly. Mm -hmm. And when you add the breadcrumbs, it's gonna give it a nice little crust. It's gonna have a nice outer shell, nice crust on the outer salmon cake or salmon patty. Mm -hmm. Just like that. Not too much to take away from the taste, but just enough to give it that nice brown color. All right, we are gonna place our first salmon patty into the pan, just like thought. Mm -hmm. Turn the stove top down on medium high. You don't want it too low and you don't want it too high. Just like that. Give everything ample space because you want everything to fry evenly. Don't want to overcrowd the pan because what you're going to do if you overcrowd the pan is you're going to drop the temperature of the oil. Mm -hmm. I probably, you know what, these are some pretty good size salmon. Uh, croquettes. So I am going to add just four. Four is perfect. Just four. 
treat it really delicate really delicately all right that's it now when we're frying our salmon patties what we're going to do is we are going to allow our salmon patties to fry on medium high heat and the perfect indication to know when to flip our salmon patties is around the edges it's going to turn nice and golden brown and it's going to have that nice little crustification and that's our perfect indication to say okay it's time to flip it over so so far on the first one that i placed into the pan i'm seeing like around one you know like one part of it where it's starting to brown up and i'm going to allow it to go for probably about another 20 seconds before i flip it over Mm-hmm. all right time to flip it over perfect Woo! perfect absolutely beautiful absolutely beautiful and we're not gonna play around and mess with it and flip it over every five seconds and we're just gonna allow it to do its thing before we flip it over because we don't want to break it up because at the end of the day guess what guys it's still fish and fish is really delicate and see why it's important to make sure you give it enough room I like to call it flipping room. Enough room to flip, tumble, roll, and so on and so forth. <laughs> if you overcrowd the pan, it's going to be really hard to get your spatula in there and flip it over. Okay. Give it enough space. And that's why you don't want your flame too high because you don't want to brown the outside and the inside is still raw. You want to give everything enough time to literally cook through. So that's why it's important to keep that stove top on, or that flame is what I should say, on medium heat. All right, perfect. Perfect. I'm gonna continue to fry the salmon patties and I'll come back and show you what everything looks like in two seconds. Hey, two seconds, like I said. It is time to remove our last salmon patty from the pan. And look at how beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Everything stayed together, it's just beautiful. Now that our salmon patties are done, I'm gonna show you how to make a delicious lemon dill aioli sauce. It's gonna complement our salmon croquettes really nicely. So, here's what we're gonna do. Gonna take some mayo. The, according to the amount of salmon patties you have, I am gonna take about maybe two scoops. And I am gonna add about a teaspoon of minced garlic. I'm gonna add some dill paste, not too much because dill is somewhat pungent, as well as some fresh lemon juice. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna give everything a good mix. Taste test time, of course, guys, and I can't wait to dig into our delicious salmon patty, guys. Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Flavorful and absolutely delicious. The meat is nice and tender, and it has like this perfect outer crust because we added the breadcrumbs so you hear that crunch and I'm gonna try it with the sauce mm. Mm. the lemon dill sauce so delicious so complimentary it takes our salmon patties to a whole different level <laughs> I could literally stand here and eat the whole thing. <laughs> it's absolutely delicious. Anyway, guys, full recipe details, cooking with Tammy Dye recipes. And I'm going to tell you how to, you know, give you measurements as far as how to make the dill sauce and so on and so forth. But in the meanwhile, I have to literally go and finish up on the salmon patty because it's definitely A1. Absolutely delicious. The mayo and the eggs, 
perfect perfect uh contrast delicious it's nice the texture is nice and smooth it's creamy it's delicious it's flavorful it's not over seasoned not to mention the lemon and everything else everything is just like it literally ties together so well this is definitely a step up from the salmon cakes that we ate as a child absolutely delicious because of course we have that sauce to go along with it and we added the Worcestershire sauce which makes it taste even better anyway guys I catch you in another video until then enjoy